is my very first podcast or video, or vodcast. I'm going to read some poetry to you. It's by Robert Frost, published this month by the Harvard University Press. It came from his notebooks he left behind, more than 40 of them, dating back from 1890s to shortly before his death in 1963. In composing poetry, I am packing up to go a long way on wings. Story of the cigar box and the counter-revolutionary. Story of the unhappy child at the amateur theatricals. Story of not being chosen by the eagle for Jove's cup-bearer. Story of Darwinian suicides and Marxian murderers. Story of the very poor man on 15 a week for 40 years. Story of the very rich man in the Pullman car. Story of the man who wouldn't let himself be lost by one fatal mistake. Blood poison, tetanus, syphilis. Story of the egalitarian who thought it would be all right to use your literary reputation to get the better of an officious official. Story of the campaign speech in favor of slavery. Story of the planned economy on Easter Island where the population was limited to 900 by killing either the newborn on one end or the old person on the other. Story of the one-armed teacher who became the first citizen of Glastonbury. Story of the encounter with the men who thought too well of humanity to despair of its becoming utopian. Not just our faults, but our virtues stand in the way of the perfect state. Story of Joseph Albany's singing daughter. Story of the heavy drinker's disbelief in disinterestedness. Story of the man who originated the slogan, No Rivers to the Sea. Crash! There goes another young ideal. Range of playfulness, proof of real culture. The saddest is not to see the poor longing for what they can't have, but to see a poor child happy in the possession of something too trifling for anyone else to want. When it is a grown woman, it is worse. When it is a man, it is worst of all. It is a sight to make me willing to bring down the universe in ruins, in carnage. Adventure is not experimental. Experiment belongs to the laboratory. Adventure to life. Much of recent art has been merely experimental. It tries poetry, first with one element, then another omitted. It leaves out the head, then it is too emotional. It leaves out the heart, then it is too intellectual. It leaves out the feet, then it is free verse. Adventure ends in the poorhouse, experiment in the madhouse. Water spout theory of learning from above, down from below up until it meets. After babyhood, self-improvement becomes a private matter. Physical, mental, or moral, please attend to it where I can't see you if you care to avoid my disgust. Public crimping with a vanity glass is not the worst of it, though bad enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs>